Hello again. Today we're working with Sometime 3, page 9, and today's lesson is called Fractions 6. Today we're going to look at things we've already talked about, just to make sure we remember. Look at this box. How many equal parts are there in it? One, two, three. What do we call those equal parts? We call them thirds. How many have we colored? One. So we can say one third. And we write it like this. O-N-E, that's one, third, T-H-I-R-D, third. But we can also write 1 over 3, 1 third. Let's look at the next box. How many equal parts are there? There are 3. There are 3 thirds. How many have we colored? 2. So we can write 2 thirds. T W O that's two, T-H-I-R-D-S, thirds. But if we don't want to spell the words, we can write two over three, two thirds. Let's look at one more. How many boxes do we have? How many equal parts? There are three. How many have we colored? We've colored all of them. We've colored the whole of them. We can write T H R E E T H I R D S three thirds. But if we don't want to spell the words, we can write three over three. But we don't usually, do we? Because three parts out of three equals one whole. So we could just write one. Let's look at these. There are three thirds in one whole. So if you have one whole and you divide it into thirds, how many thirds will you have? Three thirds. Let's look at the next one. If you have one whole and you want to divide it into sixth, how many will you have? How many equal parts? Six. S I X. Now then, if you have one whole and you want to divide it into fifths, how many equal parts must you divide it into? Five. There are five fifths in one whole. And how do you spell five? F-I-V-E. If you want to divide a whole into eighths, how many parts, how many equal parts must you divide it into? That's easy. Eight. That's all for today. See you again soon.